There's a safety car. The rice key's out. No, I'm gonna start to make a pit stop. Alright, stream hasn't disappeared yet. Yeah, I just realised the stream wasn't on. Whether it did it by itself or not, whether the stream's gonna go anytime soon, I don't know. I just realised the stream wasn't on. Uh, God knows where it ended. Uh, well, luckily it's only lap 8. Uh, stay on for now. I want to check the Twitch. See where that ended. The feet is getting fast, it's going to for speed in the pit lane. Uh, kind of a melody of both pit for hards, unsurprisingly. And because Alf has been lapped, uh, he is no longer, he is now effectively a lap down and he's not going to get past. Apparently that stream, that stream only lasted a minute and 39 seconds ago. God knows, I really don't know what will happen there, because I definitely started to stream up, that's for sure. Don't know what happened to that stream. So if you just started watching this now, I'm sorry. I didn't, didn't see the stream thing disappear after 1 minute and 30 seconds. I uh, don't know why I did that. And it's... it's even though I've got the little icon at the bottom saying it's recording at the bottom right, I don't notice it half the time, all the time, I don't notice it that it's even there half the time, most of the time. So when I've done, I have gone down there to look, I don't realise that it's gone. And by that point, it could have been two minutes or it could have been an hour. Luckily, it's in lap eight, so at least I've captured it, but that means I've missed the whole of the start of the race. In that case, I need to do a whole row. I just commentated all of that for nothing. Absolutely amazing. Basically, well, Danger Man had a five second up, go down to five place penalty, put down to six, he lost it, went down to last. Uh, Moral the Dusmoski has just crashed out. He's called to save the car. Means Maldi's right back on Callum, but the penalty's going to really hurt him. Chris hasn't put pit pitted for some weird reason. I think that's South Z going to pit. I think he might retire actually. He's that down. He's not going to get anywhere. To be honest. Yeah, he retires. Yeah, he's got nothing to win from this race now. He's lapped down. He's no way he's going to get that back. Uh, his race is over. Memo, he was up there on those softs. Uh, I'm not sure he's on the softs again. Unless he's got for a fresh set. But um, Memo was up until like P3, but then he spun and then dropped down to the last uh, without even me realising. Uh, it was looking quite quick at the start, but yeah. Hybrid's no longer in this race. She is no longer in this race. Both on the left, but not retired, uh, annoyingly. But yeah, Mali was just kept it with the cannon, but kind of falling away slowly, but he's got a penalty. Uh, he did have a big, bit of a gap to um, Wawalski, but Wawalski's now out, but now. Now that all his cars caught up, Mario's going to have to pull away that gap away again. Luckily, he's got Chris behind him on a one set of mediums, so hopefully, Chris doesn't create any issues for him. But yeah, I'm, I'm confused what happened to that stream. I, I don't know, I never saw it go. And uh, apparently, that's about a minute and 30 seconds. So. I apologise for that. Uh, I really didn't know what happened, to be honest. It's just, I would have noticed earlier. I probably would have happened before even the race started. But I just never saw it. See, there's no notification to say that the stream stopped. You don't notice it. And because you're looking somewhere else on the screen, you don't see the thing on the bottom right disappear unless you stare at it. So... I need to got something, but it's a bit annoying you just missed all the best bits. Luckily, I've got it before the safety car. Uh, it's going to end. Hopefully, it should be in the next lap because Memo's pitted about for like the 15th minute time. Chris is screwed. He, he's not come back from this race now. He's lost this race. He should have pitted.
you'll be ducked down to last. You might get a few few places from slower drivers and special tyres, but you won't get that many. You might get up to like P15, 14, 13 or something, depending on your car's tyre. That's how it goes though. And yeah, one more lap of the safety car it gives an extra lap to these guys to try and warm up those medium hard, those hard tyres, which aren't really easy to do. Alright, safety car will be in this lap for sure. Right, I can finally actually get some stream money. Finally. Without even realising. Right, 14 laps, to, still 14 laps of racing, for now. I'll do a few turn money all on penalties yet, so they're all going to conserve their, their racing lines for the rest of this race to not get any more, I can't afford it. Take your eyes in the slap, there we go. I'm not really giving a gap to the safety car. You shouldn't take it too early here. Oh, I might have been caught napping that. Kind of dominated him. Gone, it was a relatively strange safety car, but we'll see. That's a mine, just gone straight through the battle doors, just broke really early for some reason. I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of lag going on here. I don't like this. There's lots of lag. Oh no. Oh no, Maldi. Maldi. Please no. Please don't, please don't give up now. Can't hurry out this. Why is Matador using overtake around the corners? Yeah, flags. Sant. Sant is out. Now he's going to keep within that one second of Callum. Chris is going to have to try and hold on on these warm mediums. Oh, it seems to have a bit of short speed on the column here. Ah, oh, that's another one if I'm out for sure. Oh yeah, flags. Can't see who it's for. Probably, uh... Better not do it now. Oh, maybe, maybe that, maybe, maybe if Memo with, with the front wing game plate doesn't missing, maybe. Hmm. Anyway, back down the street. Maori unable to be any closer. Chris is just been overtaken by Danger Man. Danger Man's finally back up to P3 after that mistake she did earlier in the race. Afita, uh, only a penalties, currently 6th and 7th. Uh, Calamons is in the pits. Front wing change, well, he's going to set mediums, so those mediums are going to be dead. I don't think he realises those tyres are already 8 laps old and he's not going to the end. So he's going to have to pay again. Moment has a fresh set, but it is a fun way change. Maori just keeping up with this with, with, with Callum for the moment. As Ronnie's looking very close to a Vita hit. No, he's not over the move. Now, Ronnie just going to have to try and find somewhere else here. No, the is still, I think. Mm. 
pedestrian munch out behind my door here. Oh! Vita, what's he doing there? Just on the base middle of the corner. He's going to be just right, going for DRS in there. Don't DRS though, I don't know why he's doing that. There, now DRS is enabled. He's giving me why is he giving me places? What's he doing? Includes and he's just hit the Alpha Mario. What is Rafita doing? What is he doing? I'm so confused with some of the now. Yeah, flags. Uh, it's parallel, I think. That's funny. Come on, let's get to pounce it. Oh, boy, everyone's gone for the circle. What's going on there? I don't know what's going on. Maldi's out there, I see it. Dane's going, isn't there? Dane's got DRS and Maldi here. And Chris is finally in for his pit stop. Fortunately, it hasn't really spread out as much as he probably would have wanted to. He can't go much laps now. I think he might go onto the softs here. Uh, which might work out nicely for the short term. Yep. On go soft tyres. Here we are, very quick car going to the end. He's got 10 laps, 11 laps to do this. Here we are, the car's a bit cold towards uh, for the first couple of laps. Well, our first couple of corners anyway. Ronnie's also in the pits. Nah, it's not a great line to parallel. Maldi's fallen off the back of Callum now, and Dane Van's the low of the back of him. Maldi's also still carrying that penalty, don't forget. I'm sure Maldi will still fight it, but he's not really fighting, he's going to be fighting much chance. So Maldi's just used Dane Van as a bit of a pull along. DRS and DRS for danger man. Yeah, flags. That's uh, Chris on the soft tyres, and danger man is Phil Maldi. There we go. Job done, dusted. Danger man up into P2. He's not going to chase on his team right now. Mm. Alright, what else we're going to look at? There is a Ghost Street train containing Lone Imperial Shearer hybrid of the two AIs. Uh, Juan's with you behind right now. You know, it's trouble with Lone Imperial.
I only lost 1.8 seconds of danger now. Too much just hoping to stick on the back of him. Damien's has got DRS on this street. pyro has got DRS on Pyrrhol. So pyrrhol has got DRS on Lane Link and Damien's got DRS on Deer Street. Move on Lomin up the inside. No, Dynastry's gonna hold around the outside, but Dynastry's got low ass here. Being in same Lomin, he's quite low as well. Blue flags. Is that full virtual safety car? I thought it was a virtual safety car. Chris is out on the softs. And Maddie picks on the penalty. Maddie sees not getting a podium now. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think he might still do if he gets a uh, keep ahead of F1 Red. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how Chris has trashed down the middle of the street. Uh, it will continue to be back of my mind. There's a foot wing change for Calamons. And Mano is also in the pits. Feet is also in the pits as well. That's interesting. Oh, I think change. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe there's been a bit of massive collision somewhere. I wonder. Vertical safety car should be ending soon. There you go. Off we go again. Watch out for this big train here. I'll tell you that, it's 2 AI, isn't it? Why trying to take Pirillol here? Tank gets a penalty, but it's got not much to worry about apart from some soft runs behind him. Uh, and that's Juan round. He's lost his front wing. He's out. Yeah, first his face over. So, his race is over, not only zero points for him. So, I'm feeling a bit, a bit tired now, I'm gonna lie. One thing about Alex Williams is that it always looks like he's got no front wing. Come on, I know I see some battle there. Oh, and Dice is on wide. This is a uh, red carpet for Pirillol here. But Pirillol doesn't have the ERS to do it, but it's not, certainly not the straight line speed in general. It really has Dice Street, but Dice Street is going to have DRS in this corner and a lot of overtake to be able to use. Live in a competition there. Maldi just doesn't have the pace as the top two. Oh, McLaren's in, oh, it's just there. Uh, what? Hey, what? Ah, oh, the most just retired. Shock. Anyway. Here I'll just try to keep up behind of Dice Street. Sorry, this race isn't seeing very good. They've got two AIs here. Uh, the gap between Danger and, and Calum is too much to the point where they can't battle each other. But Maldi's just absolutely nowhere with two penalties to name. He's getting caught by everyone reds right now. Everyone reds again, he's also in no man's land. Montre is also in his own little no man's land. Mastor's three points just down in his own little man no man's land. There's just gaps. And he gets his here, he gets Dice Stream and Pirolol. And Lonelin's just come out of nowhere. 
Uh, but then you've got the two eyes of Shear and Hybrid, so that's really it. And the software runs a split pie part by about five seconds each. So it's, um, yeah, and there's nothing really to get excited about, to be honest. Oh, I might have a sleep here, to be honest. But, you know, Pirillo's trying to find a way past it. He just doesn't have the ass to do it, and it's one of those bees. Dice Reef balled it. But yeah, he's not straight on speed though. Danes runs within a second of Callum. Oh, almost. Yeah, flags. Uh, Dice Reef's round. Uh, that's just got rid of the one battle, I was hoping to stay. Uh, that's a running a little bit low wings to Callum. I think Callum's just gone wide there. He has, that's going in the DRS zone for sure, especially since his neck into the last corner. DRS will not be available to the German driver. Comes as a corner at 8 tenths. Split the gap between the two Mercedes drivers. Sparks flying off like that Mercedes. Too far behind, making the moves. Probably again, just absolutely nowhere. Can I wonder if he gets like his third penalty over the race? Let's get back on this lead, Ains Rant just ain't quite there. We need to get closer here. He's just got a DRS. Just. Kind of makes some mistakes here. They don't come up and make a move. Lingman. Oh, I forget how far behind these guys are, I can't the rest. Got DRS and DRS. No parallels low on the battery here. Think about it. Uh, I'll be a very uh, avoidable dummy there by uh, Lingman. Yeah, for lags, it's probably that's Calamons. Oh, he's gone wide. Pirates on the ride. I mean, he's going to do a straight like move here. Bit too aggressive, not really needed to be honest. Danger, man. He just can't get closer, man. Cannon's very low on the S now. Like flashing. Uh, oh, support, Lomo Imperial, again, 
battle Lang Lin overtake Pirillol. Almost. Not quite. Do maybe now. DRS open the ERS. It's like Pirillol's got decent shoreline speed even with a low ERS. Got the shoreline speed to keep up it. Yeah, fine. It's again, that's Juan. Easy overtake for the Alpine driver. Up at the P7. There you go. Sense and the back of hybrid air. But what if this happens to soft, so it might be pointless. Oh, that shit damage, obviously. Danger and getting close to Calum here, the gap's now hard off a second. Out to go. Parallel still unable to get past the moment. Sant Dushi's have our size, and Dushi's gone wide and he's uh, let Sant through in the end. Sant's back on to P11. Can't quite keep their positions in the, in the correct order, can they? At the moment. Now, Paralog, can he do anything with Lonely? These guys are playing it quite hard. Paralog's a bit hold of tyres. If he does got a penalty, that's going to affect him. Montrez also gone on as well, but it's free. Vita's actually just been overtaken by you, Ronnie. I think it might have been a mistake there, actually. Oh, and Danger Run, the side by side here. Oh, they've made contact! They've made contact! Danum and Danger Run have made contact here, and Maldi's obviously going to see that yellow flag and think, what's going on? But it's UFO Biden anyway, so I see some But yeah, Danger Run is let kind of uh, through. It's face what fun likes to do is to do. Now he's going to have to bring that gap back together again. It's a lap of race as well, so you can't afford to uh, do anything silly. And that's one thing you couldn't have done without. Maldives now sort of get closed down by five seconds. Oh, that's pretty nice. Shout out to Callum. Hey, yeah, Callum's British. Okay. Should you like the name Callum? James Rent. Now I'm just trying to take that down to. Back at Callum again. Callum just doesn't need your ass left. That gap's going to close down dramatically. Last sector. Gets way down to half a second coming to this left hander. The ass again for Bangerman. Look at how much strength and speed he's got. Is he going to stick one at the inside here? No, he's going to pack out. He's just going to have to overspeed out there. He's done the ease bottle, but he's absolutely bottled it. He's had a terrible exit. And there Callum will win. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix danger on P2 in the end. Maldi will have to cruise for a gentle P3. In the end, Maldi finally gets that podium. But maybe not the way he wanted it, but he still gets the podium. Even with six seconds of penalties, so. Yeah, probably quite boring race for Mal at the end.
Matador's coming around, he's 16 seconds behind the next car in front. They're gonna finish a solid P6. Pirro, we're gonna hold off it from moment for P7. P8 moment, P9, uh, well actually have these won't be finishing P9 and N10. It'd be Sant actually, we'll finish P9. No, it'll be Dentistry of a P9, Sant P10. That'll be the last two point scorers. You're on eight. 26 seconds behind these guys. He's soft. I swear these guys have been slower on the softs than there were these guys and the rest of the guys on the hards. I don't even know anymore. Avita. We'll finish P4. We'll finish P12. Juan, when he gets across the line, will finish in P13. And Canamon's when he doesn't drive like a granny. I need to wipe down, I think. I'm not sure. I don't know. To be honest, probably one of the worst races I've seen on a tier 3 in a long time. Nothing really much happened. To be the start of the race was alright, which obviously didn't catch. But look, it was nothing too special though. It was mainly people making mistakes. And people just, I mean, just gaining from it. But there was nothing, there's no real action to be honest apart from a couple of little battles here and there apart from that to be honest quite generally quite a poor race uh compared to other races but it is callum your race victory callum contact on the last lap into turn one and two but i think danger ran decided to give him a Giving them a bit of fair play, giving keeping the uh, same behind his teammates. But there you go. Here are your results for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix here. At the Kanish uh, Yeah, I don't even bother. Uh, Callum it's P1, Danger and P2, three tenths, but then Cap Danger on this fast left of the race. Maldi P3, F on Red P4, Moncho P5, Mastor P6, Pirola P7, Lemon P8. She and Hybrids, they will be uh, put to the bottom, they didn't actually race. Dishri and Sans, they will be P9 and P10, Ronnie will be P11, Rafita will be P12, and yeah, the rest of the soft runners and the rest of the DNFs. Let's see if we can get Maldi in this party. If you can connect. Right, first of all, before I say anything, Maldi, can we, is it able to get Callum in? Um, should do, yes. Try and get Callum in, oh, he's gone off the Xbox. If I can't get him in, can't get him in. Um, so I'll just stick to you. Well, you can interview me while you wait for Callum to join the party. I've invited him because I don't know where he is, so... I've invited him, so I just have to wait. Okay. Anyway, yeah, okay. Uh, well, Maldi, it was uh, probably not the race you wanted, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I think you've probably expected a bit more, especially in qualifying with that mistake. Uh, and in the race, I think you just didn't quite have the pace of those two in the front. So... With two penalties, but you managed to keep it with P3 in the end. Just give us a rundown on your race and any events that might have happened. Yes, you can hand him. Yes, you can you're just, you're just but, echoing a bit. But yeah, Maldi, just uh, just um, put a rundown what you just uh, what you just said. 
Callum, could, could, Callum, Callum could you just could you unmute just your mic? Unmute your mic. Um, mute uh, your mic, mute please. Mute the mic, please. please. While I answer the question, while I, answer I can't question, hear myself, I can't myself at the moment. Because your mic is echoing. Your mic is echoing. <clears throat> Hank, come on. Hank, come on. Callum. Uh, Callum. Uh, because I can't hear I myself, can't speak, hear right myself right now. speak right now. I did mute it, didn't I? I did. I, you're you're I, echoing. Yeah. You're echoing. Someone's echoing. Someone's echoing. It's calm. Right, is it anyway. Up? Anyway, whatever. Good. Cool. Anyway. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, to be honest, um, I was only really wanting the top five for a podium tonight. I won't really fuss about the win. Um, Saudi Arabia isn't really a track that I enjoy racing on, as you can probably see from the qualifying. It's not a track that I really um, am excited to race on. So a podium is very good, you know, 15 points decent. Um, Danger Man and Callum were just too quick for me today. Um, I don't know what they've been taking after the pre-season in Bahrain, but, you know, well done. Great race from them too. Um, I hope that it's not the same in Australia. Australia is a good track, especially now that it's it's been changed a bit. So, yeah, we'll we'll look onto Australia now. But, um, yeah, good points for Williams and the Constructors. I just didn't, I just didn't have the, the pace for the uh, top two tonight. Um, but, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you, Maldi, for that. Uh, Callum, if you can actually unmute your mic now, I can give you a quick interview as well. Callum? Callum? Hello? Yep, yeah, can you hear us? Right, right. Okay, okay, a bit of a going on. It's, it's a, a bit short. short. Yeah, okay. Uh, but, but race fixtures for you, you. Uh, uh, managed to, uh, apart, from apart from that contact at the end with Danger, Danger Man, man. Uh, yeah. you managed to hold him off at the end. end. Yeah. Just give just us give a, a bit of a rundown down and just, just manage that race, race at the front. front. Uh, well, I mean, it was pretty calm at the front. I was able to just hold out in first. Um, I don't know why Danger Man even tried to overtake me, to be honest. Because we had a 1-2, like, easily. I, I don't understand why he even tried to overtake me, but, yeah. Well, well, I'm, I'm presuming you might be teammates. teammates. I think, I think he was still, still won that victory, victory anyway. anyway. I only saw, I only the, saw contacts the contacts literally, literally seconds, seconds after, after I switched, switched onto you guys. Yeah. yeah. So, so it was uh, difficult, difficult to say. say but, but yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, anyway, congratulations, congratulations on the victory, victory anyway. anyway. Yeah. And good, good luck on the next race in Australia. Yeah. Right, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. Not the chance. Not the greatest race, to be honest, to watch. Wasn't the most exciting race in the world. But we will carry on into Australia with Maldi in the combox back in T1 at the Albert Park circuit. So, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.